Hi, I'm Terry Brock with terrybrock.com. Today I want to talk with you about how you can use a content management system, we also call that a CMS, for a competitive advantage. This is something that is really popular now because what it's doing is it's helping you to take content and ideas, information that you have that can ultimately generate more sales and turn them into something very, very useful. Really today it's about being a resource. That's what business is today. You want to be the resource, the go-to person that people say, hey, you're the one we want to find out of what's going on, and we're going to hang around with you for that. Today, we're more connected than ever. Our world is now connected, and really, you want to think about your world being more than just a limited geographical area. It can be literally around the entire world, which means you're freed up from a, a small economic condition that might not be as useful and not be doing as well in one area. You're going to be able to now expend your reach all over the world. It really gives you a lot of capabilities that way. And the real key on that is using technology to establish, build, and then here's the trick, maintain relationships. All the way through, you want to make sure you have those relationships and maintain. Technology can also help you with that as you move with it. Because you see, communication is the key. Whether we're using one of those old black phones with a rotary dial, I don't know, is anyone still using that? <laughs> but at the, in its day, that was a great way for people to stay in touch with each other. We were able to connect, be able to do what we want, and, and by the way, you'll see those little uh, symbols up there. Those, uh, there. those weren't push buttons. No, you had to actually put your finger in there, roll it over, and then here was the exciting part. It just kind of uh, did that little noise all the way back. Got us excited back then. I know. For those of you that are under 30, Google it. Telephone, okay? <laughs> Rotary dial telephone. That's what it was. Now, today, you want to use a content management system to communicate. You want to get that message out there to the world. And there's two key benefits that you're going to get from this. Number one, it's going to boost your sales. When done properly, you can do that. And also, it will enhance training, which really can also boost your sales as well. So you want to use both of these to be able to use it. Well, let's get into some of the nitty gritty here of what you can do and actually what I've done. In full disclosure, I worked with AT&T as the editor-in-chief for their networking exchange blog. I had about 100 geniuses writing articles, reporting to me for information on what to do, helping them, giving them direction in areas like mobility, cloud computing, security, social media, and more. We found that by doing the blog, sending out information, people were able to be attracted to AT&T and its services and actually came up with some really good results. Sales, I remember one sale in particular, $800 million they were telling us about. That's uh, pretty good. And $900 million for another one. The one I'm particularly proud about, $1.3 billion. That's with a B. $1.3 billion. Now, I don't know about you, but where I grew up out in the country, we call that serious money. <laughs> and you know, it's what can happen when you do content management right in the right way. Many of you have seen this before when I talked about the way to design your blog and your website, feed in articles and content audio and video, and then tell the world about it through social media. If you want to see more information on that, just drop me a note and I'll be happy to show you a video where we've got this information going on. And here's a way that we talked about it in our book, Clout Matters. Matter of fact, hang on over here. There we go. Clout Matters, a little shameless plug here. Our book on social media and how to be really effective in social media at a ninja level. That means in a really uh, elaborate way, get things done, get the job done that you need to do. You start with engagement and the content management comes in down there with content creation. Around about the uh, 5 o'clock area, if this were a clock, it'd be about 5 o'clock there in the content creation, and then slide over there to distribution. It handles both of those. So you really want to get into that. Tools for your CMS, two that I mentioned in the article that accompanies this, are WordPress, which is a great tool. I've been using it now for years, and it has worked beautifully. Millions of people around the world, literally millions, are using this free open source product. It's sponsored by the world, people that are users that want to contribute to it. And the one I use specifically that I mentioned in the text, you want to be sure to read that as well, is the editorial calendar which is for WordPress. It's available in there and the people writing that are just geniuses and have been able to give us the ability to schedule 
posts that we're going to send out, put it in there. We can see how we've done. We can see where we're going and what's going on. I encourage you to look into these as well. So in conclusion, on this contact management system, content is king. It really is important, but also that engagement is very, very important. I love the way Mari Smith says it. She says, content is king, but engagement is queen, and she rules the house. So you've got to have both, and a content management system will give you the ability to do that. And here's something else I want to give you. Twitter for sales. This is about creating content, sending it out the right way, using social media as well. A special video just for you, and here's where you get it. You don't have to sign up for this or anything. You just go watch it, enjoy it. If you like it, let me know. If you don't, well, then let me know that too. Either way, I'd love to hear from you. But there's the address, the HTTP colon slash slash tinyurl.com slash Twitter for sales. And remember, that it's all lowercase, and it's the number four, no spaces in there. You put it in just like that, and that will help you. Well, thank you very much for joining me on this. I want to stay in touch with you. You can reach me over at my website. you got all the social media contact information at www.terrybrock.com. Twitter, for something real fast you want to send a message, is at Terry Brock. Let me know how I can help you. I will look forward to hearing from you on that. So you have yourself a wonderful day, and thank you very much for joining me.